Um, F word. <laughs> Would you be my? Yeah. The done, the done, done. I still got a lot of shit to learn. I'm shaking right now. Okay, I took one of these Dollar Tree pregnancy tests. I have to film this on my camera because I'm in my phone because my camera's charging. I'm like not prepared for this at all. When I first peed on the test, there was no love. There was nothing. It was a blank screen. It looked like this. It's a blank screen. And I waited like a minute and it was like, I'm shaking right now. <laughs> um, I walked away. Like I put the thing in my pocket, these, these pants pockets, this pant pocket. And then I, um, I walked away because I was like, oh, it's a dud. Like I've had this test for over a year when I was originally pregnant. And then I went in to put these pants back on because I was like, oh, I'm supposed to be getting my period in three days. So this was like a week before my missed period. And then tell me, I don't know if you can even see it. Do you see a line? Because I kind of do. Let's see if we could put this in better lighting. There's a faint ass line. <laughs> My daughter is not even one yet. <laughs> but this could be bullshit because it's from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> so I have a real test here. Thank God. I freaking knew it. It doesn't expire until 4.30, 23. Okay, so it's not expired yet. Let's see what it says. This is the digital kind, so it'll say pregnant or not pregnant. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it right now. I'm supposed to, um, I think I was supposed to put it in there for five seconds. I don't even know. I don't have the instructions for this anymore. <laughs> I know why I'm so nervous. Um, my baby's not even one yet. And I can barely handle <laughs> my shit. Seriously, like how long is this? I've been waiting like 20 minutes. I looked down at the timestamp on the video and it's only been a minute and 44 seconds. Like, okay. Nothing? The answer is nothing. Hello? Anybody home? What is going on? Maybe I wasn't supposed to hold it in there for five seconds. Maybe holding it the way I did was like ruining it. I'm not gonna be able to find out till tomorrow then, I guess. Oh my God. Hello. This is a freaking joke. Do I have any of the pregnancy tests in this house? Probably not. Hi, this is a freaking joke. Yeah, I don't know why it's not working. I decided I'm gonna say it now because I can't freaking read. <laughs> I'm so freaking scared. Let me go get the test. The more difficult it becomes to sleep train. And yeah, in general, like, I mean, it's probably harder for me than it was for my husband to just hear her scream. Honey, come here for a second. Do you think it was harder on you than it was for me? <laughs> you don't want to be on the camera or no. what? Just for a second, dude. No. Why? And it, it's just for the, look, come here, dude. No. Okay, fine. Just stand right there. He's fucking weird. Okay, but anyway, <laughs> would you say it's harder for me? I'm not getting your video, dude. Well, this is important because we both did the fucking training. So, like, just, can you just, like, get along? Um, he'll help me with the sleep training process and like I'm usually the one that's like freaking out I had total complete mental breakdown on day two remember that when I was like crying on the bathroom <laughs> in the, on the toilet seat and I'm pregnant <laughs> what? I'm pregnant <laughs> I'm fucking pregnant dude 
<laughs> one line means not pregnant. Dude, dude, look harder. What the fuck am I looking at? The fucking line right there. I see a line, yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I see a second line. Okay. <laughs> I'm pregnant. No, you're not. Dude, what does that mean then? You're, not you're on your period, dude. I'm <laughs> That's not a period teller stick. C T. <laughs> C T. <laughs> what the fuck does that stand for? Dude. Honey, I don't know what it stands for. I just know that I'm pregnant. No, you're not. You're I know. I know I'm cramping. Do you know what happens in the first week or so? You Dude, cramp. We're not. There's no way you're pregnant. I know. I know. I know. How do you take a faint ass test from two days ago and say Ryan, these don't turn up with any sort of line. Last time I was like, oh, I took these three tests. Okay, I'm sorry, it was nine o'clock at night I and don't I'm at home. You, dude. dude, I need you to come here right now, Ryan, please. I'm freaking out. I knew, I knew he wasn't gonna fucking believe me. Okay. Talk to me. I'm pregnant as hell, I'm scared. I don't. I'm pregnant as hell. Ryan, I You're need like you. Lightweight pregnant. Ryan? If that. There is no lightweight pregnant. There is a. Oh my god. I can't believe. Are we not. We're not ready for two children, dude. We are barely keeping our shit together with one. I would love to have another kid right now. Right now? Why not? Get out of the way. Why the hell not? Because it's gonna be two under two. There's good. They're gonna be. It's gonna be a nuts life, dude. I thought you couldn't get pregnant while you're breastfeeding. <laughs> yes, you can. Once you have your period, that's it. You're ovulating. I your chances are a lot lower. Or something. No, your chances are lower while you're breastfeeding and like not having your period. What are we supposed to do now? I need an appointment. What do we tell her? We tell her, come check me. Am I pregnant? And what do I do? Go to the store right now. I'm not playing. Go to Safeway right now. I need to go, actually. I need to drive. So, like, I'm going to go. go. I'm going to go. I need to clear. What about the baby? Actually, no, you need to go because I need to pump. Jesus, dude. I'm gonna go straight from pumping to breastfeeding again. No break. No rest for the wicked. You're not pregnant. Brian, I am. You're fucking with me. How can I be fucking with you? You drew in a line. I, you can't draw in a line. I think you did. Honey, you can't do that. And look at the shitty ceiling. We can't even get the fucking ceilings up in this house. I don't know, Margo. Yeah, it's not like I'm going to be any less pregnant tomorrow. So let's just wait till tomorrow and I'll go get a Starbucks, enjoy my last coffee, and then come back with a test. Pregnant. What are you going to do? Hi. So here we are waiting. I just hope that this one is fucking fucking with me because it was old. It was just it was just so old that it just like the two lights came up. <sighs> so we're still waiting. What's the verdict? It hasn't come out yet. <laughs> oh my god. Do you wanna see it happen live? <gasps> what? Bring it over here, you stupid. Oh over here. my <laughs> No <laughs> Yes <laughs> High fucking five man a beer, dude. Oh, I'm gonna have a beer right now. Wait, are you sure it's safe? Should I take the other one? No. <laughs> well you're not pregnant. I fucking told you. This is why I tell you not to freak out for stupid shit, dude. Typical dude. Lisa. Oh my Jesus. god. <laughs>
Are you sure? Typical, typical. Are you sure it's like not? I'm pregnant. The faintest line I've ever seen that happened two days after you peed on. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. Oh, dude, that was crazy. I am not messing with you no more, okay? I'm not messing with you no more in that way. Your shit is fucking scary. Your shit's like playing Russian roulette, dude. I'm terrified right now. Well, you're a Mexican. Whoo! Get pregnant on a dude. God, that was a trip. I I you driveway, it's a Saturday night. You look like a million bucks wearing that dress I like. You're smiling, but there's something missing okay. in your <laughs> eyes. Uh, this this camera angle isn't very flattering, um, nor is it ideal, but like I'm driving on a super windy road and I don't have time to fix it. So that's that's just what we're gonna do right now. So anyway, um, I'm almost late for my physical therapy with all this freaking talk, um, this pregnancy stuff. It just kind of superseded everything and I forgot that I had occupational therapy. Anyway, I haven't had a chance to like check in and I'm just feeling relieved. And I know that's sad because it's like, I should be ready for my next week. Like I want another baby, I want two more babies. And I'm already turning 33 this year. So it's like, hello, time's not really on your side for popping out these millions of babies that you wanna have. Now with that said, I am a little sad relieved because I know I'm not ready like I primarily just like worried about the risks associated with being pregnant before 18 months of giving birth you know there could be a placental abruption I think there's more risk for preterm birth and other complications that might arise with uh, being pregnant so soon after giving birth I think that was one of my main things. Like, I didn't want to spend an entire pregnancy worried again. I already did that once with Aria because it was during the pandemic, like the beginning of the pandemic, before I was able, allowed to get vaccines, before anyone was allowed to get any vaccines, you know, and there, were, there was no vaccine in sight. And so I had to be worried like the whole freaking pregnancy long about me getting COVID and getting so sick that I could die baby and I just I just want to experience a pregnancy that's normal like without this, these added stressors you know but with that said I'm also a little sad because I kind of thought you know last night when we were going to bed I you know was telling Ryan I'm like I'm so scared I'm scared I'm nervous I'm scared like I couldn't sleep I was tossing and turning a lot and he looks over and he's like, it's going to be fun. I'm excited. Remember the bassinet sitting right there next to you? And the little baby just <laughs> rocking back and forth like a little burrito in the thing. And Remember that? That was nice. Like, that's going to be fun. And a part of me wanted that, you know? I was like, yeah, you're right. That is going to be fun. That is going to be nice. And it's still going to be when we finally are ready to get pregnant. I just think I'm just not ready right this second. Give me a couple months. Maybe by the end of this year, like, that's like the ideal thing. But you know what they say, you make plans and God laughs. Um, you know, it's all on God's timing. Whenever he wants us to get pregnant, whenever, whenever we're lucky enough to be able to get pregnant again, it's gonna be welcomed, regardless of if we're ready or not. But that was a close one, guys. Ugh, dude, I am scared now. <laughs> I'm like scared of my husband. Um, I can't have a new, I can't be jumping right back into the newborn phase. Like, how terrifying is that? Yeah, I'm glad this happened. I'm glad this happened. 10 out of 10 would recommend you having a scare when you think you're ready and you're playing games like, ooh, a baby would be nice, have a scare. And then see how you really feel. 
because I'm telling you, saying it and being like, oh yeah, having siblings that are so close together would be so cute, so fun. You know, it is different when it's actually a, a possibility. But yeah, anyway. Yeah, I think you you're making me wanna try forever. I feel so free. Oh my sweet baby.